considering uh, more components to the system in terms of system architecture, we turn to the software, uh, more extended software. I mean, an awful lot of the, the hardware contains firmware, which is, of course, software. But uh, we have to consider uh, a lot of uh, things, particularly aspects of the, the operating system. Um, there are a great many system utilities that we are going to be using, um, a number of which are going to be used by uh, the various applications that we use in, in terms of functions that the, the system provides. Um, so, uh, the, uh, the various utilities uh, uh, ready to be used as functions or, or you know, standard uh, aspects such as the, um, uh, well, access uh, to storage. Um, uh, anyways, uh, you have to consider uh, what they are, uh, I suppose, right down to um, yeah, the microcode uh, that may be uh, installed in in the CPU to give you uh, additional opcodes um, in certain situations with certain systems. Uh, the uh, software applications, of course, the, the various programs uh, that we either purchase have developed for us or, or develop ourselves uh, for the the business and, and what we want it to do. And, and of course, we're going to have uh, application development security, uh, application security overall as, as one of the domains that we're, we're dealing with here. Uh, file systems, um, access to the storage, uh, and uh, well, of course, you know, all kinds of input and output goes on in, in the system, but uh, the file system is, is one that's very upfront in terms of uh, what gets stored, what gets used, uh, our, you know, databases, uh, a major, major aspect of uh, pretty much all um, applications. So, uh, all of those come under the uh, general rubric of, a, of the operating system, that the operating system handles all of those. Um, there are also, uh, you know, handled by the operating system for the most part. We may build additional uh, functions, but the access controls for the user, um, for control of access to uh, to files, uh, to other resources, to networks, to uh, specialized hardware, possibly. So, uh, you know, the access control, uh, a, a lot of it is going to be handled by the operating system. And, and again, we, we need to know that that is appropriate to the uh, sensitivity of the information that we're dealing with on this particular system. Or we need to build additional uh, access controls in to make up any uh, shortcomings that we may have in, in that regard. Um, in terms of the, the access control, of course the operating system is responsible for uh, program creation, uh, management of program execution, um, the, uh, the aspects that we're going to be, uh, uh, dealing with there have implications for our, uh, our access control overall. Um, and the, uh, our ability to, uh, enforce, uh, access to resources, particularly software resources. Um, so, uh, you know, we, we have to pay attention to those. Uh, all of these, uh, well, it's, it, 
gets hard to separate them because um, we're going to have, uh, you know, the, the functions, the, the system utilities, um, in a sense, uh, can be thought of as, as uh, you know, access control functions, or, you know, the access control functions can be seen as, as system utilities. And, and so we're, uh, we're having to address a, an awful lot of different things here. Uh, again, access to um, the various specialized devices, the various resources that may be uh, connected to our system or, or may be connecting our system to other systems. Uh, control of access to files. Uh, you know, all, all of these things are being handled by and large by the, the operating system. And again, we have to need to know uh, that we can rely on it. Uh, well, there's system access itself, you know, the, the sign-on to uh, uh, get onto the system, to start using it in, in any way. Um, and, of course, issues of error detection and response, whether that response is, is a corrective action, um, a, uh, you know, preventative action, uh, uh, a, a shutdown, hopefully with a warning and, and notation and logging. Um, and, and speaking of logging, of course, uh, the accounting uh, for all of this. Um, any kind of system access. Um, what has been done uh, reported in, in such a way that we can go back and, and look at it and hopefully uh, you know, build or buy tools to assure us that we know what has been going on on our system, who has had access to what, and, and uh, to be able to detect if um, any of these accesses are untoward. And, and so all of those things, all, all of those aspects of the software, those components of the software uh, in our systems uh, all have to do with security and all have implications for it and we need to know uh, what they are, what the functions are and, and what the, uh, the implications of those functions are and, and whether or not it, again, is suitable for the sensitivity of the information that we are dealing with on that particular system.